Hi, thank you for watching a new video blog. Why am I leaving the Netherlands? Reasons why I'm leaving the Netherlands. So, I am 100% sure that I will be leaving the Netherlands. I don't see it as a country anymore where I would want to invest in and where I see my future because they just have a policy that is not going well with my own beliefs. And when people ask me, what is it then that you dislike so much in the Netherlands? I will give you in no specific order, but just what comes into my mind, the reasons why I am leaving the Netherlands. Now the first reason is the extreme focus on woke culture. I really uh, don't like this whole wokeness idea crazy where they change street names, where they remove statues, where they uh, enforce children to learn about all these so-called different genders. And it's really, uh, to me, like something very bad. It's all against where I stand for, like tradition, traditional family. And it's really something I do not support and I don't want to be part of anymore. I don't like it when people hear that I'm from the Netherlands, that they uh, think like, oh, you must be also like some of these woke idiots. Now, the second thing is the drugs policy. I am also very strongly against using drugs. I think that it should be uh, illegal or at least be very difficult to use to get it. And you know, the Netherlands is one of the countries with the lenience rules around this. And I don't support it. I cannot endorse it. I dislike this. So for me, a reason to also say, why should I invest in a country that is openly even promoting now to legalize one of the worst drugs, and that is cocaine. I made a video blog about this. You can watch right here. The mayor, the major of our capital city, Amsterdam, made this proposal and uh, I really dislike it. And it shows the, you know, the bankruptcy of the Netherlands. They rather legalize hard drugs than that they would stand up to protect people for this horrible poison. And another reason is that I don't support the 40,000 abortions that take place in the Netherlands. 40,000 little babies get aborted and they're not all medical. But I am against the disrespect of new young life that is God given in any case. And as we are now saying we are God, we decide who will continue to live and who don't. So I really hate it that this is going on in the Netherlands, 40,000 per year. And if you have any critique, then you're directly labeled like the worst person on the planet. Whilst I am not killing babies, that's what the doctors are doing. And they are rewarded with lots of money, status and etc. And I cannot support that any longer. I just really hate that. Another point is the extreme feminism in the Netherlands. They're constantly attacking traditional family values and also the role of the women. I really cannot support that. Why should I support that? Why should I stay in a country where they pretend that freedom for a woman is to act like a man? To be just a man with a different body. I do not support that. I support the idea that women and men are naturally different, that they belong to each other, that they support each other, that no one is better than the other. Let me get this really clear. Uh, but that's not what feminism is all about. It's about hating on men, talking constantly uh, like feelings of guilt. We have to feel guilty all these things and uh, I am not supportive of that. I think it's really bad, it's anti-natural because men and women are a unity that should work together traditionally to build up the family. Another thing that I really dislike is now the praise and worship towards uh, 
um, like taking your own life. That we should not encourage. But the opposite, of course, is happening in the Netherlands. People are being like encouraged to do this. They're saying, you know, if you want to take your own life, it's like a very, you know, it's a good thing. It's, uh, yeah, it's a brave thing. And instead of, you know, finding out what the true cause is, like eating good foods, living in a natural environment, having a good family unit, having a good balance between men and women, have this natural family, have the natural connection between men and women intact, uh, have traditions, have religion. No, instead of focusing on that, they will say, uh, no, you better do it. If you feel like that, it's very brave and uh, we can even help you doing it. We can give you some pills and we find ways to, uh, to do it. So, yeah, that's absolutely not my idea. I think that everybody should be helped and helping people with these feelings is showing them the traditional life because in nature you cannot have these feelings. If you're truly in contact with nature, you cannot have these feelings. These are unnatural feelings that only exist in an unnatural surrounding that derive from an unnatural surrounding. So that's another one. One of course that I really hate is the fight to remove meat from the Netherlands. There seem to be like uh, this huge propaganda now that uh, eating plants is healthy, is good for you, and that meat is bad, bad for the environment and all this nonsense. And they continue with doing this. And the Dutch are weak and meek and they don't fight this. They just accept, oh yeah, we all should pay attention to the environment. Oh, it's so bad. Cows are the problem of all the things on the planet, of the climate. And really stupid, I cannot support this. I want to be the country where they see meat as the number one foods that you need, animal-based food is in the diet. The diet is animal-based. That's a country where I would want to live. What I also really dislike in the Netherlands is the lack of uh, respect for religion. Uh, people are this is one of the least religious countries, uh, maybe on the planet, especially in Europe, but uh, maybe also in the on the planet. And I really don't like it. I uh, also don't like the the propaganda against natural, true religion. Uh, when I was young, they always tried to talk negative about religious people, about religion in general. And uh, this attack is really like, I feel so much distance now towards, towards the Dutch people, the atheistic, nihilistic uh, people that I cannot really uh, support this country anymore. feel like uh, what am I doing here it's uh, they all replace it with ridiculous things you know hedonistic life and I cannot support it I'm not why should I waste my energy and time on a country like that not for me so yeah those are like uh, more like philosophical reasons why I'm leaving uh, and others of course like more political but uh, let's say these are the most important. Oh, I forgot one, of course, and that is the sea virus thing. The way the Netherlands uh, treated it and the way uh, the population just walked like sheep behind it. Just like horrible, you know, the, uh, they all went, uh, you know, along with this whole thing, the whole QR code thing. And um, it's also a reason why I say ciao, ciao, bye, bye, tot ziens. So that were my reasons why I am leaving the Netherlands. So from uh, Mongo Island, I say thank you for watching. I see you next time.